Lesson 13.4, we're going to find unknown measures for area or perimeter. We first learned about perimeter in video 13.1 and area in video 13.2. It's really important that you see those and they're linked in the description. We can find an unknown measure of a rectangle if we're given its area or perimeter and the measure of one side. We can use the area or perimeter formula and the known side measure to find the unknown measure by writing an equation. If we're given the area and one side length, we can find the unknown side length. We're given the area, it's equal to 40 square centimeters. We're given a side length, 10 centimeters. We're missing the height, h. With the formula, area is equal to base times height, we think, well, we know it's 40, so 40 is equal to 10 times whatever the height h is, and 40 is equal to 10 times some number, that would be 10 times 4, the height must be 4, and we would write it as centimeters because we can see they're using centimeters as the measurement units. A rectangle has two pairs of sides of equal length, and we can use the perimeter formula to find an unknown side length. Here we have the perimeter is given as 28 centimeters. We see the side length here is 10 centimeters. Well, that means this side must be 10 centimeters for that to be a pair of equal sides. We don't know what the width w is. With the formula, perimeter is equal to 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Well, we know if that's 10 centimeters and that's 10 centimeters, that's 2 times 10, that would be 20. We also know the perimeter is 28. So we have 28 is equal to 20 plus 2 times some number w, the width, and that would be 2 times 4 because we need it to be an 8 for 20 plus 8 to be 28. We think this 28 minus this 20 gives us an 8. That means 2 times w must equal 8 and that would be a 4. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Because it's in centimeters, we write our answer as 4 centimeters. The area and perimeter formulas both use multiplication. We can use division to help us find an unknown side length. Division is the inverse. It's the opposite of multiplication. So if we have 12 is equal to 3 times 4, we can say 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. If that 4 was missing, we would be able to find it by using division by just doing 12 divided by 3. For this rectangle, we're given that the area is 24 square inches. We're given that this is 8 inches on this side. We don't know what the height is. We use the formula. Area is equal to base times height. We know the area is 24, so we have 24 is equal to 8 times something. We think of division. 24 divided by 8 would be equal to that h. That would be a 3. 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3. And because it's in inches, our answer is 3 inches for the height. So we can use division to find an unknown height. And remember, a variable like this letter h or that letter b, is a letter of the alphabet that just takes the place of an unknown amount. For this rectangle, we're told that the perimeter is 18 inches. We know that this is 3 inches. We don't know what this length is. Remember, we use a script L because if we used a lowercase l, it would look like a 1. We might think we need to do 2 times 1. So I use a script L to let you know that it's L for length. The formula says perimeter is equal to 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. We know the width is 3, so that's going to be 2 times 3. We know the perimeter is 18, so 18 is equal to 2 times whatever the length is plus 6. We think 18 minus this 6 is 12. So whatever the 2 times length is must be 12. We think 12 divided by this 2 well, that would be 6. And because it's in inches, L, the length, is equal to 6 inches. Remember to label with the measurement units. L is not equal to 6, it's equal to 6 inches. 
Be careful to use the correct formula. Area is the number of square units we need to cover the surface of a figure without gaps or overlaps. We use area is equal to the base times the height. We can say A for area is equal to B for base. We can use this dot for multiplication. We learned that before. Times H for height. We can use the dot so we don't confuse it with the variable X. Perimeter is the distance around the outside edges of a figure. And the formula is perimeter is equal to two times whatever the length is plus two times whatever the width is. A square has four sides of equal length, and the formula for the perimeter of a square is P is equal to four times S for side. If we only know the perimeter of a square, we can use division as the inverse operation. We don't even know a side length, we just know the perimeter. Well, it's a square. We know all four sides are the same, so if the perimeter is 36, we can do 36 is equal to four times whatever the side length is. Using division, we do 36 divided by those four sides will equal the length. 36 divided by four is nine. It's in centimeters, so we know each side length is nine centimeters. We divide the perimeter by four to find a side length for a square. We need to find the missing side length. We have a rectangle. We can see that this side is six yards. The area of the rectangle is 72 square yards, but we don't have the height. Using the formula, area is equal to the base times the height. We know the area is 72. We know the base is 6. We have 72 is equal to 6 times some number h. Well, 72 is equal to 6 times some number h. That would be 6 times 12. So h would be 12 yards because it's written in yards. What is the perimeter of this rectangle? Well, if we know h is 12, we can find the perimeter. The perimeter is equal to 2 times the length, that would be 2 times 6, plus 2 times the height, that would be 2 times 12. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 12 is 24. We would do 12 plus 24. We know the perimeter is 36 yards. Let's try some higher order thinking skills. Sophia made a square baby quilt that had a perimeter of 12 feet. What was the area of the quilt? So it gave us the perimeter, but it wants us to know the area. Well, we think it's a square, so all four sides are the same length, and we can use the perimeter to find the side lengths, then use the side lengths to find the area, and we can draw a quick picture to help us. So perimeter is equal to four times a side. We know the perimeter is 12, so we have 12 is equal to four times the side length, and we think, well, 4 times 3 is 12, so the sides must be 3 feet each. They're all the same because it's a square. Well, if the sides are 3 feet each, and we need the area, we can do the side times the side. We can do 3 times 3. That means the area is 9 square feet. So we, will, we were able to use a given perimeter of a square to find its area. And we can do that the other way around. Now we have a square that has an area of 25 square inches. Find the perimeter. Well, in the last problem, we had the perimeter and we needed to find the area. Now we have the area and need to find the perimeter. So we think, again, it's a square. And all four sides are the same length. We can use the area formula to find the side lengths, then use the perimeter formula to find the perimeter and we can draw a quick picture to help us. The area formula for a square is side times side. We're given that it's 25. We think of what number can we multiply to itself that would equal 25? That would be a 5 and a 5. 5 times 5 is 25. That means a side length is 5 inches. We need to find the perimeter, and the perimeter formula for a square is that it's four times whatever the side is, 
we know the side is 5, so we're going to do 4 times 5. We know the perimeter is 20 inches. Make sure you're using the correct formula. Use the area one for area and the perimeter one for perimeter. Try to use some common sense. In our next lesson, 13.5, we're going to do some word problems, and we're going to find areas when there's another shape inside of that shape. I hope I'll see you there. Keep trying hard. Don't forget to hit that like button for me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.